Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Juan Pacina. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel, Pacina Music. Today I'm doing another song by Maverick City Music called Communion. It's in the key of C major. It is in 6A time and the BPM I may recommend is 136 BPM. It's really up to you guys. Whatever you guys feel comfortable. Don't do it too fast, but don't do it too slow. So the song is a duet. Uh, between a female voice and a male voice. Very beautifully done. And the melody, it's a gorgeous melody. Now, I am not going to touch in on the intro of the song. Instead, I'm just going to go directly into the verse. Um, one thing that you guys can do is, what we do at my church a lot, is that sometimes we'll just do like an instrumental off the verse and convert that as our actual intro. Without the melody, or if we're going to add our own melody, we just do something um, similar to that. The verse one contains four chords. You guys can play it in the basic form, which will be F, C over E, which is a C major chord with an E on the bottom, A minor, and G sus to G. Very basic chords. Now, if you want to add color, this is what I would do. And I'm going to touch on this before I get into the actual tutorial on how to play the song um, in time and with melody. So the first chord I like to use will be an F major 9, adding the 7th. Why? Because of the melody. The Take Me Back to the Garden, I'm going to play on the keyboard. When you play an F chord, F chord does not have that G. But if you play the G, it gives it that dissonance, gives it that, that, that special quality, that color, to make it sound, you know, how that, you know, in the video sounds. A little bit more of a mature sound. And then the seventh in there, according to the melody, how it goes. And the C over E, the next chord, if you want to play it a little bit more advanced, just add the ninth which would be on a C, you count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So, you could add the seventh, but for this case, we're not gonna add the seventh. And you just play this voicing, or you could do um, this way, or you could do it like this. Add the E on the bottom to give it the, the movement where it's going. And then the next one's going to be an A minor 7. So you count 7 up from the root note, A. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Play the A minor. Add that 7th. And then G sus4. So G. All right. Very basic. And um, just so that you guys can play a little bit more color. And if you don't know how to play those chords, that's how you can play it. So let's go directly into the verse. So I'm going to sing in a lower octave so I'm not screaming in your face and cause you guys to skip my videos for some other video that just sounds better singing-wise. Um, but here it goes. So I'm going to go from this G. The song's technically in C, but if you're going to do this verse um, as an intro, the last chord that you're going to end on is that G, which kind of gives it a nice premise into leading into the verse. So the G will be like this and the singing-wise will be like this. Take me back to the garden Lead me back to the moment I heard your voice Take me back to communion Lead me back to the moment I saw your face Very simple. Um, just follow what I have on the top of the screen on... Remember, each slash is a, is a beat and... Verse is super simple. So the pre-chorus is very neat because the pre-chorus on that first F major ninth, which is, um, you can, if you remember how I did it for the verse, the melody is actually when it goes to that really high note, and it was up, up it's gonna go down that F major ninth, A, G, E, C. And it was all so simple. Very beautiful, very mature in that melody. And I'm, I really enjoy the song because of it. So we're going to go, lead me back to the moment I saw your face to go into that. 
Lead me back to the moment I saw your face And it was all so simple See every It was easy to love Now this love, this A minor 7th with a 4th added to it um, It's a very, very peculiar um, chord um, And it adds that dissonance just to give it that mature sound And what, uh, this is how I would play You could play in a main, A minor seventh, like that. But the melody is not hitting any of those notes. It's actually hitting this D. It was easy to love. Very important that you guys, um, if you don't want to really clash on the keys with it, you can to play the the chords fo following that melody. Or unless you want to clash, that's up to you guys. What I consider this chord, I would consider it a G sus. So with an A on the bottom and leading to G. So when you go, it was easy to love, it was easy to love, then G, and it repeats. No space between us, it was easy to trust. And then that G. So now I'm going to run through it quickly. So we're going to go from lead me back to the moment I saw your face. Lead me back to the moment I saw your face. And it was all so simple. It was easy to love. No space between us. It was easy to trust To the chorus Now the chorus is very simple nothing really complicated if you follow the voices that I've been giving you guys um, To add that mature sound to it and that colored sound to it. It's very simple to play now I'm gonna run through the chorus one time through I'm not gonna really explain anything except for the last um, line feels so good um to know you're my friends to see what exactly is going but it's really neat so i'm going to go from no space between us it was easy to trust leading to the chorus no space between us it was easy to trust to the chorus c you are closer closer than my skin repeat you are in the air I'm breathing in And here's where the dead things come back to living I feel my heart beating again It feels so good to know you are my friend very beautiful. Now, the feel so good to know you're my friend. Um, I play that D minor chord as a D minor nine. So D, F, A, C, and then an E. The ninth is gonna be though a major, a major nine, but the seventh is gonna be a flat, a major, a minor seven or a flat seven. So I'll be D, F, A, C, and E. So when you do the melody, it feels so good to and then that G7 which is G with a flat 7 on top which is an F no you are my friend results to C very beautiful this is a classic 2 5 1 progression 2 5 1 so feel so good to know you are my friend very neat. Now, verse two, similar as verse one, except for the first um, part where this is the garden here in the place, I find you close. They're, they're gonna change up the chords a little bit. And this is how it goes. So after that, it feels so good to know you are my friend. So, and this is the garden. Old. Here in the place I find you close. This is communion. C over E. 
Here in the place I fully know. Now the pre-chorus, same chord structure as pre-chorus, is um, the first pre-chorus that we did, just the lyrics changed a little bit, but the same exact way. And it goes like this. And it was so, so simple, you're so easy to love. No space between us, you're so easy to trust. Back to the chorus. Now what did I do there? To go to the bridge, um, from the chorus to the bridge, instead of resolving that D minor, feel so good to know you are my friend, and going to the C, once you want to go to that bridge and you want to go into an instrumental, um, like how they have it in that bridge, instead of going to C after that G7, they go to D minor. So they kind of deceive you, and what they're doing there is that they're establishing what they're going to do for the bridge. So it feels so good to know you are my, then D minor, C over E, and then F major seven. You can repeat this again. Now, when they begin to sing the bridge, the first time the bridge where the male, the male sings it in a lower octave before going up the higher octave, the lower octave is gonna follow the same chord progression as we're doing for the instrumentals. That D minor, C over E, F, lower octave. The second time where he goes to higher octave, he changes the chords. They're gonna do G, A minor, and then F. So, I'm gonna lead instrumental, do it once, leading into that bridge to show you what I mean. Remember, first time with the D minor chord is going to be lower octave, second time is going to be a higher octave, and instead, D minor, you're going to do a G. So it goes. And this is where I'm meant to be. to prove a thing you've already approved of me so when we higher octave now G this is where I'm meant to be a me and you and you and me I don't have to prove a thing you already approved Etc. So basically that is how you do the song. Very simple. Now one thing that they do that I really love um, when they do it is that they like to repeat that last tag. Um, the last chorus verse and, and make it into a tag. So um, it feels so good to know you are my friend. And then do it again. It feels so The other part where they repeat a lot is the, and here's where the dead things come back to leaving. I feel my heart beating again. 
And that is done like this. He is where the dead things come back to living. I feel my heart beating again. He is where the dead things come back to living. I feel my heart beating again. Feel so good to know you are my friend. So basically guys, that is how you do communion. Sorry the tutorial took a little longer than my usual tutorial, my usual tutorial length. And also, sorry I've not uploaded in the longest time I've been busy um, with church and Christmas celebrations, but I'm back at it again. Very soon we're going to upload a special lyric video for an original that my wife and I did. I hope you guys enjoy it once that releases. And I'm going to be attempting to do more tutorials very soon, so be attentive and thank you guys for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. Bless you guys and until next time.